this video we're going to look at Anthem and this is the fifth largest healthcare insurance provider in the US. What I do in my videos is I run my discounted cash flow model to figure out the value of a company's stock. And I look at the financial ratios of that company and compare them to its competitors. I do this with you throughout the entire video so it's like we're doing it together. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of $69.9 billion. And they're trading at 277.19. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then discount that number back to today's value. And the best way to do that is to start out getting their actual free cash flows. And I'm going to pull that and put it into the model. Now I'm going to pull the net income. That's on the income statement. That's a profit and loss for the company. And also I need the revenue, which are the sales for each year. That's also on the income statement. And each year their revenue increases. So that's good to see. And you want to take a quick look at the numbers to make sure everything looks okay. Their profit margins have been increasing from 3% to 4% to 5%. So they're becoming more efficient by converting more revenue into profit. Now let's look at the capital structure of the company. The interest they pay in their debt is $746 million. And the debt I had to pull from another source because it's not in Yahoo Finance. And the interest rate is 4%. Let's get their effective tax rate since the interest payments are tax deductible. The income before tax is $6 billion. And their income tax is $1.2 billion. So their effective tax rate is 20%. The cost of debt is 3.24%. To get the cost of equity, we need the beta. And the beta is how volatile a stock is relative to the market. And this has a beta of 0.95. So the stock pretty much moves with the market. We also need some more information. Let's get their equity. That's total assets minus total liabilities. And that's the value of the company according to the balance sheet. That's $31.7 billion. And let's get their EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes. And that's on the income statement. So their EBIT is $104 billion. That's just their revenue. And now let's look at the capital structure. The cost of debt is 3.24% and they have 37% debt. The cost of equity is 9.6% and they have 63% equity. So the WAC is 7.27%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. And that's a discount rate we're going to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows. We also estimated a terminal value, which is all years past year four. We discounted those numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital. And we get a value of the company of $185 billion. We divide that by 252 million shares, and we get a calculated stock price of $734. It actually trades at 277, so it's trading at a 62% discount. So it's a buy according to the model. Simply Wall Street has them at $652. So they're also calculating them as a buy. Let's look at the historical stock price. So the stock has been trading in the 200s for a while now. It appears to be trading at a significant discount, but investors are not willing to pay six, seven hundred dollars for the stock. They're willing to pay two hundred seventy-seven dollars at this point. Let's look at the financial ratios. They have a good PE, a great price to sales, and a good price to book. PE is stock price over earnings per share, and to get earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. I like to see below fifteen for this ratio, and they are fourteen point five. Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. And to get sales per share, that's revenue over shares outstanding. So they're providing a really great price to sales ratio. Below one is considered excellent. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. And to get book value per share, it's equity over shares outstanding. And they provide a pretty good price to book also. I like to see below 3.5 and they're at 2.2. Current ratio is good and ROE is pretty good. 
Current ratio is current assets, 39 billion, over current liabilities, 23 billion. ROE is net income, 4.8 billion, over equity, 31.7 billion. So they're providing a pretty good return to their equity holders. And then their interest coverage ratio, 140. So they can easily cover their interest payments. That's not a problem. The best way to look at ratios is to compare them to similar companies. I've done videos on Benefit and United Healthcare. And Benefit has the best PE. Anthem is a little better than the average. Anthem has the best price to sales and price to book of the three companies. Anthem has a better than average current ratio. They are worse than the average in ROE though. They have the best debt because they have the lowest amount of debt. And they're in the middle in terms of market cap at 70 billion, which is a pretty big company. But United Healthcare is a massive company at 300 billion. Let me know what you think of this company and the industry. Thanks for watching.